remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Five teenagers have been charged with capital murder after they allegedly killed a 16-year-old girl in her grandmother's Biloxi home. The victim's family had a ring doorbell, which reportedly shows the suspects, Yakisha Blackman, 17, Willow Blackman, 15, Jasmine Kelly, 15, Jarvis Cook, 17, and Jaquez Porter, 17, entering and exiting Madison Harris's grandparents' house on February 24th. Check this out, fam. The grandmother's fiance said that he first noticed something suspicious when the Ring doorbell app showed an ambulance at his home. He said that Madison was there with her friend Paul and her dad was in the backyard raking. After they shot Madison, her father and her friend Paul gave chase and they ran out of the house. It didn't take long to catch up with the training wheel gangsters because they lived in the same neighborhood. One even lived across the street from Madison. All but one are being held on a $1 million bond. The fiance says that Madison thought that these kids were her friends. They had been in her home. Cautionary tale, family. This is why you don't let anybody into your house. This is why nobody can come to my house unannounced. Not even my own brothers. You got to call me. Let me know what's going on. Because if I hear that bell ring, I'm coming to the door with a pistol. It's too many people play that game, ring the bell, try to see if anybody home. Next thing you know, they're, they're on the inside. So I'm coming with a pistol or a shotgun or something like that. Something like that, some type of weapon. Um, I don't play those type of games. And you can never, never, ever, ever, even if you're invited, bring somebody to my house without getting permission from me first. You got to get approval first before you bring someone to my house. I do the same thing when I go to somebody else's house. I don't care who it is. I, hey, is it cool if I bring such and such by? People don't always want company and people are not always comfortable with somebody coming to their house that they don't know. So that's just a, a courtesy thing for me. I don't expect any less from somebody who's visiting me. You know, I'm going to give you that same respect. Give me that respect. You cannot show up at my crib unannounced. I just had a conversation. This is why I want to cover this. I just had a conversation with my homeboy over the holidays. His brother wanted to bring one of his homeboys by his house, you know, a street cat, you know, his brother street cat and these other street cats, you know, I'm talking about still in the streets, right? Not from the streets, still in the streets. Want to bring him by my boy house. He said, nah, man, you can't do that. Nah, I don't play that. And he already know his brother's like that, but I guess he tried it anyway. People will come to your house, eat your food, sit on your couch, enjoy your entertainment. And next thing you know, you take off, you leave the crib, and they're inside of your house. They double back, they're inside, because guess what? The whole time they were in there, they were casing the joint. Mm, I know where that's at, I know where that's at, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that. A lot of times people come to your house they're casing. They're trying to figure out where the valuables are, what they're going to take. This is why you can't just rock with anybody. You can't just let anybody in your crib. Not only do you have to be able to trust 
the person who you may know and have a relationship with might be a long-standing relationship. You got to, not only do you have to trust that person, you have to trust that that person is going to make good decisions about the people that he chooses or she chooses to bring around her friends because if you bring someone around your friends, you're responsible for that person if anything goes down. You're responsible. So you have to take these types of situations very, very seriously. It's not just about picking your friends. It's about picking a friend who knows how to pick friends. These kids has basically thrown their lives away. They're in the state of Mississippi. The Mississippi don't play no games, especially when you are a black person walking into the courtroom. They will literally hang you. Man, man, man. They killed the girl because she had knowledge of them robbing her grandmother's house. See, that's those baby minds at work. How do you think you're going to walk into somebody's house, five people deep, commit a murder, and get away with it? The thing to do, would, first of all, would have been leave people's stuff alone, get a job. But let's say you ignored that boundary. You jumped out there anyway, you robbed the girl's house. Boom. It's a, a home burglary. At the most, those kids probably would have gotten some type of probation. They definitely wouldn't, would not have gone to prison, especially if they don't have records. They would have liked, well, no, nah, this is Mississippi. Could have went to jail. But one thing about it, they wouldn't have gotten a life sentence. They wouldn't be in jail for 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. That's what's coming down the pipeline. Man, 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 get ready. It starts with the family, though. Parents, we got to do better. Talk to your kids. Ask them about their friends. Follow up. Ask their friends about their friends. We got to do better. R.I.P. Madison Harris. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?